limits and derivatives. These problems are in the textbook also. Some of these problems are more important. And this is uh, get these problems in exercise 13.1. Exercise 13.1. Now you have to change the limits. 
What do you mean by change the limits? As x tends to 0, as x tends to 0, the limit given in the problem, what will happen to y? You put 0 here because x is approaching 0. So if you put 0 there, 0 plus 1 approaches y. Then y becomes? No, y tends to 1. As x tends to 0, y may tend to 1 because x plus 1 is equal to y is the substitution. So now, therefore, limit, instead of writing x tending to 0, I write the new limit. What is the new limit? y tends to 1. For x plus 1, I have to write y. y to the power of 5 minus 1 divided by now, x is there. What is x? Y minus y. y minus y minus or y minus what is equal to x. If you put x plus 1 equals y, then take the value of x. What is x? y minus 1. So, for x, now you substitute y minus 1. Now, in fact, this 1 can be written as 1 to the power of 5 without any harm. Now, you see that this form and this form are totally matching. So the answer of this problem is n a to the power of n minus 1. What is n's value? 5 into 1 to the power of 5 minus 1. That is 5 into 1 to the power of 4, 5. The limit is? So note this problem. We did it by substituting this component x plus 1 equals 5. Thank you.